Hi, I'm Scott Shear. In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid an issue when using the SharePoint Get Items action. And the issue is this. Get Items does not return all of the items that you think it should. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to resolve that issue. In this video, I'm a guy who needs to loop through this SharePoint list, my financial sample SharePoint list. Now, I might want to loop through it for a whole bunch of reasons, maybe sending an email, who knows. But the key is, I want to loop through the list. And I want to see how many items are in the list, so I'm going to go to Site Contents and go to Financial Sample, and I can see there are 700 items in this list. Now. I've already created a flow. Let me go over to my flow. And it's a very simple flow right now. I'm not complete. I'm just looping through the items. I'll add more content to it later. I'm going to start this flow with a button. I've got to get items action and then a simple compose just as a proxy for whatever it is I want to do later. So let me test this. I want to do this manually. Test and run the flow done now very quickly here i'll see how many items i'm looping through and as you can see i had 700 items in my list i'm only looping through 100 and there's no error message there's nothing that's going to tell me that i'm only looping through 100 items except for what you're looking at right now it's just something you need to know and you really really need to remember it so let me show you how to fix and avoid this issue. Now I've developed this habit when I have an issue with Power Automate. If I can't figure it out, believe it or not, I'm going to go read the documentation. And that's what you see in front of you right now. I'll post a link to this in the comments, but uh, let's take a look. Item limits. The default item limit is 100 and items are paginated by default. Below that it says, if you are using the default options and simply specifying the site address and list or library name, Power Automate returns 100 items from the list or library. Well, that's the experience that we have. If you're working with large lists, you can increase this limit up to the list view threshold limit of 5,000. Now, let's talk about this. So, when it says uh, you can increase it up to 5,000, that is absolutely true. If you are working with a standard Power Automate license, the Power Automate license that comes with uh, most all uh, licenses for M365. However, if you have a premium license, uh, the, the limit is much, much higher than 5,000. It's one or 200,000. I can't quite recall. And the reason I can't remember is you never want to retrieve that many items anyway. But if you have a standard license, the limit is 5,000. Now below that, let's see what it says. To specify the number of items to be returned, expand the advanced options and specify the number in the top, top count action property. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't realize you could do it this way. Um, and I tested it and it does work. However, there is another way to, uh, to fix the issue that we're talking about. And in a moment, I'll show you both ways. So right now we're looking at the flow that did not return all of our SharePoint list items and let's fix it. Per the instructions we saw in the documentation, I'm going to go to the get items action. I'm looking at advanced parameters and I'll click on show all and top count is right here. Now, I believe this to be a little misleading. Uh, it says total number of entries to retrieve, default equals all. Well, we're using the default. Obviously, we didn't get all of the items back, but let's test. So I'm going to enter 5,000 in here. Uh, we only have 700 items in our list, but I wanna test the maximum of 5,000. Uh, to make sure it'll save with that. If you put too many items in here uh, that for the top count, you'll get an error when you save. So let's save. Now that it's saved, let's test. So I'll click on test. Uh, 
I'll select manually because this is a button flow. Test again. Run flow. Done. And as you can see, by looking at the loop, it did return all 700 items in the list. Now, I mentioned a few moments ago that there is more than one way to address this issue. I'm going to show you the second way now. So once again, I've selected the Get Items action, and I'm going to click on Settings now. Under Networking, I'll turn Pagination on, and I can set this value up to a maximum of 5,000 items once again if I have a standard license. If I were to save this and run the flow, you would get exactly the same results as if you had uh, used the top count uh, solution per the uh, documentation. I wanted you to see this because there are a lot of posts out there uh, indicating that this is the way to address the, uh, the you're not getting all of your items issue. So either way will work, whichever way is more convenient for you use it. So now you know. When you're using a SharePoint Get Items action, the default is 100 items. If you're expecting more than that, you're not going to get an error, but you're not going to get all of your items either. You just need to remember that you need to adjust one of the two parameters that I've shown you in this video. If you like what you heard, I've got a lot more to come. Please subscribe.